Hey guys, back with another video. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video and that's due to the fact that I really had nothing planned for the car. But now I have a couple things planned and a couple things coming up so you can stay tuned for those videos coming out very soon. Today, what we're gonna be doing is painting up my wheels. So we're gonna go from this black wheel to this white wheel over here. Check that out, how do you guys like that? I think it looks pretty sweet. The way we're gonna be achieving this is with these products right here. I realized I thought that I was gonna get all four wheels done with two cans, but that wasn't the case. I used one whole can for that one wheel already. So if you're gonna do this to your car, make sure that you get one can of dip for one wheel. I have 19 inch wheels, they're pretty big. So one whole can took it all up. So I have three more wheels to do, so that's why I got three cans of white right here. And I got two cans of Glossifier. Glossifier did make a little bit of a difference, but nothing too crazy. So don't think that you're gonna get this crazy shine from it. But it did make the wheels a little bit shinier. More reflective, I guess. Now I got two cans of this. I used half a can of Glossifier, roughly, for the one wheel. So two cans, you know, four wheels. And before we do any of that, we gotta clean the wheels really good. And the way I'm gonna be cleaning them is with just using Chemical Guys Diablo Wheel Cleaner with uh, a foamer, also a detail brush. You're gonna need one of these. These are cheap, get them off Amazon for about 10 bucks. All this, the whole paint cost me about, I wanna say 40 bucks for everything. Also some painters, painters tape. And this about 50 bucks, but you don't need this really. And the wheel cleaner, it's, a, it's your choice. It doesn't really matter what you use. But that's how we're gonna be doing this. And uh, I'll come back, come back whenever I have the car jacked up and I'm ready to take off the wheel so we can get to cleaning them. Whoa. So now that the wheel is off, the next step to do is to give it a deep cleaning and get it ready for uh, paint to lay down the plastic dip on it. Okay, so now that I cleaned the whole wheel, the rim inside and out, what I'm gonna do next is, uh, well I already did it, was put a whole layer of tape around here where I'm gonna make an edge for the paint to stop. So this is all gonna be white outside and inside it's gonna be black, that's what I want. And this is how I'm gonna do it. So you put a layer of tape making your edge right here so that you can peel it back. When you're done painting, you'll have this clean edge right here. Now to mask the whole barrel inside, what I did, or what I'm going to do, is use paper. What I simply did was tape up about six sheets of paper together. And this is going to go along the whole inside of the barrel, taped inside. And that's going to mask it off right here. I did it the last time, and it came out pretty clean. There was just a little bit of cleanup, but majority of paint was not there. So, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And then after that's done, I'm going to give it one final wipe down with a clean rag over there. And then uh, set it up here and then get ready to paint. So I forgot to mention, you can either cover up your valve stem, make sure you don't get paint on it, unless you want it painted obviously, but I don't want mine painted so I taped it up. The next thing to do is to get some index cards. I forgot to mention you need these or you'd want these. And you're going to want to stuff them in between the rim. You know, you see this everywhere. And it's just to help uh, keep off the paint. Keep the paint off from the tire. And, um, yeah. 
Hey guys, so here with the wheel that's finally finished, this is the product. This is four uh, really heavy coats of Plasti Dip, so one whole can basically, and three coats of Glossifier. I went really heavy on the on the white, just so that when I come to peel it off, it all comes off, you know, as it should. I already went ahead and took out all the masking in the back and the tape right here. Some of the edges didn't come out too well, but oh well, what can you do? But other than that, it looks pretty pretty alright, I would say. There is some imperfections. The dip did start to leak, not leak, um, run a little bit. But other than that, it looks pretty great. So here's, here's how it looks. Next, what I'm going to do is put it on the car and then... Uh, Punch in my cap right there, and then we'll see how it looks. And there you have it guys, here you go. That's how you paint your wheels using Plasti Dip. All I need to do next is torque down my lugs to spec, and that's how you, that's how you do that. I think the car looks pretty cool now. Well, cooler, at least to me. This is definitely... Should turn some heads. But that's not the point of all this. So, what I'm thinking about doing next is uh, pulling the car out so you guys can see a better shot of the actual whole car with the white wheels. You can see in the front over here. Just so you can see what the car really looks like fully. Because right now, I can't really back up in a garage to show you. So that's what I'm gonna do next. All right guys, so I'm here at the local car wash. Just give the car a good rinse. And this is how it ended up. <laughs> So this is the end product. If you like what you see, make sure to like and subscribe for more. I have a lot of more stuff coming this way for this car. And yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below and what you like to see next or what you don't want to see anymore. And uh, we'll see if we can make it happen.